the 2021 Chet Hollers Bash, brought to you by Smart Pay Rentals, simpler rent to own. yesterday, uh, very windy, very nice day today. So, uh, we had a banquet last night, uh, we had a big trailer twist there, the whole place was an uproar, it was great. <laughs> I'm Daniel Kane. I own Kane Shed Hauling. We haul up in uh, Central Maine uh, for Old Hickory Buildings. I've uh, been up there for right at five years. Uh, it's been a been an experience for me. I've never before that I've been around the shed industry, but um, hadn't really worked in it full time. Definitely, uh, but had brothers that hauled before and stuff. So, but it's been a it's been a real experience for me. I've been we've been well blessed up there. Okay, I'm from uh, Canaan, Maine. Uh, it's about uh, about a nine hour trip uh, down here, uh, about 500 miles or so. Uh, so that's, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's where I hail from. Uh, Shed Hollers Brotherhood was uh, achieved, was the goal was to be able to help guys, um, you know, they're in the business, they've gotten a lot of, a lot of investment out there, and they're, everybody's, you know, pushing the edge, and sometimes they, bad things happen, and they, you know, they need some help, and it's a chance to help other shed haulers uh, if they have a major breakdown or something like that they can uh, they can have an avenue to help them and along with other aspects they're looking at maybe doing some investment uh, opportunities and um, you know helping helping the haulers you know be able to achieve their goals you know and not necessarily any not an insurance so to speak it's just others you know brotherhood helping each other you know you had the motor go down and you know you caught yourself at a bad time where you can't uh, make that happen uh, you know it just puts you in a real bind and being able to have others step alongside you say hey here's some money help you know and then being able to turn you know in turn help other people do the same thing you know uh, pay it forward absolutely absolutely so i'm opportunity you know i've 
count a privilege to be able to be a part of that and help others along. The end goal for most guys here is to make the uh, customer happy, and which is obviously the end goal for any business is you, know, you have to have the customer in order to make money, so you, you know, you've got to keep them happy. I'm with Richard Miller with AFG Rentals out of Grandview, Texas. I came here to represent AFG Rentals. We're one of the sponsors of the bash. Uh, but more than that, it's, it's not about drumming up business even for AFG. It's about saying, guys, we appreciate you. Historically, the shed haulers have been kind of the, the underdog of the shed industry. And the shed haulers bash and the shed haulers brotherhood have been very instrumental in changing that image. There's a lot of good people in the shed world and they're finally getting some of the recognition that they needed and deserved. And, and they're, they're getting a seat at the table. And this, like I said, the Shed Hall's Bash and the Brotherhood have done a huge, uh, great job at, at helping them get a seat at that table. And so we're here saying, guys, we respect you. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. We want to help support you. And I'm getting to meet all my shed hauling buddies. That's just awesome. It's a great crowd, by the way. Have you noticed? What a great crowd. Okay, from my perspective, looking at it from kind of on the outside, but not really on the outside, it kind of birthed out of the Shed Haulers Bash. And the, the brotherhood, the whole thing is about community coming together to lift everybody up. And, and so they're, going, they're doing that by various things, including you know, kind of raising the bar, raising the standard of excellence, but again, it's all about community, because out of community comes excellence. And that's really what the bottom line is, from my perspective, of the Shed Haulers Brotherhood. Yes, and first of all, Shed Haulers, by their very nature, if you have what it takes to be a Shed Hauler, you're probably going to be motivated by competition, okay? And, and sometimes it has been, historically, it's been kind of ugly, you know, out there in the Shed world, and that's changing big time in the Shed world and the manufacturers and, 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 and with the haulers and, and everybody, even the rent-to-own companies um, are you know, banding together. But w when you come here, yes, to some extent, some of that is laid down and, and they're out there having the competitions, but it, even out there in the real world, away from the bash, if this guy, shed hauler, breaks down on the interstate somewhere, throws it up on the Facebook group, there is anybody within range will set aside what they're doing if they possibly can and go to that person's aid. Even though they're direct competitors, that is the culture of much of the shed hauling world. That is the culture that is arising out of the shed haulers bash 
and the Shed Hollers Brotherhood. In other words, the Bash and the Brotherhood are facilitating and solidifying something that already exists in these people. They're not making these guys good, they're solidifying it and giving them a platform from which the good to rise out of and kind of be on uh, kind of a showcase of who these guys really are. I about get chills. These are some of the best guys you'll ever meet. Almost every shed hauler will bend over backwards anytime, anywhere to help you. That's who they are. We want to do to your honor and glory and we want to do to build your kingdom. Everything, whatever it is we're doing. We want to have fun and we have fun. But at the end of the day, it's about growing your kingdom. It's about bringing lost souls to you and to minister to one another. And God, God, I pray that you'll protect and bless each one as they leave here, as they go one mile out of here or 3,000 miles out of here, that you would put your protection on them. And God, just bless us. Amen.